Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, good news for people that, like me, find that it's kind of stupid for the recommended section, once you don't want it, to still display an empty space. Uh, this is, unfortunately, one of the problems of the Start menu. If you go to the Start settings, and you say that you don't want to have the recommended or jump place or you know anything you turn off everything you want to see so let me turn off this and you have a default uh, setting for example well when you go to your PC of course we had this empty space which is useless, where they could have just removed it and make the start menu smaller. Well, uh, it seems that before we get to 25H2, there will be a way to remove the recommended section of the start menu. And Microsoft has started to show this in the beta channel for Windows 11. And they say that it's going to be a matter of weeks before we get it actually on our regular Windows operating systems. So I guess some of the modifications and changes to the start menu will be coming before 25H2. So this is good news. I mean, they're going to be changing things around. But also, it's funny because it, you know, goes with the fact that um, it, goes against the, oh, one update a year. No, there's tons of little changes you do all year. It's not true that Windows 11 is a one update a year thing. So anyways, the good news, recommended is going to be gone soon if you want. And, you know, that space is going also going to be changing. The customization is going to be changing. Uh, so I guess it's a question of several steps in the start menu before it all changes. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.